someone's birthday? Oh gosh. No, we're just uh, trying to show the dangers of mobile gaming spending. Yeah. Each of these has $200 on them. Oh. Moments like this make me realize how crazy I am. Uh, well, let's just say I made a big mistake with my life. Oh, I say good, Gary. I'm feeling the sudden need to spend absurd amounts of wealth on low pixel quality games. Mm hmm. What's that, dear Gary? You're telling me I can get a Galactic Legend from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for this little napkin here? Oh, you peasants call this currency. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, jokes aside, this is probably gonna be a stupid video. And I wanna see with these light speed bundles, how close can I get a Galactic Legend day one as a brand new player in this game? <laughs> went, down, oh, went down the rope. <laughs> I want to show the real cost of getting a Galactic Legend Day 1 in Galaxy because I know the Lightspeed ones are really tempting. They're great offers, but some people, once they buy it, it kind of turns into a money pit. And that's what I'm here for, to make sure you don't fall into that same trap. Let us embark on our journey of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but in Wayland style. Our video gaming division just got notified of a next big hero collector that's on the market. And I'm talking about today's sponsor, Dungeon Hunter 6. This game is so successful, it's number six in the franchise. It's a free to play game you can download right now with that link in my description. Dungeon Hunter 6 is offering an amazing mechanism for when you defeat epic bosses, you in turn can bring them to your side and summon them on the battlefield. With over 100 bosses designed to be conquered and explored with new classes and units updated on a monthly basis. The fun of utilizing these bosses is endless and something I'm not seeing and other hero collector games out there. There's also many creative designs where you can actually turn into a cat on stealth missions. Or with the customizable mount system, you could ride various fantasy creatures. And it's got great visual fidelity to boast with it. And there's many other things to do, like playing of guild mates, battling in real time, guild wars, a variety of skill trees that test out various builds. And there's an auction system where you can trade your items. So what are you waiting for? Let's get into the action by downloading Dungeon Hunter 6 with my link down below. You can scan my QR code to get a starter pack worth over $50, including 10 summoning scrolls, one SSR Lieutenant Demonic Wolf, and one accessory pack. Use your game account to enter the launch lucky spin event to win great prizes like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, PS5, Apple Watch, and more starting October 15th. So let's hop in and have ourselves a dang good time. Halle, halle. Oh, it's great seeing you again, my friend. You know what really annoys me? Why haven't we able to fight this guy 1v1? This guy need, <laughs> needs a little humble pie from me. Oh, man, I wonder what I'm going to get. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? What am I going to get? I got to say, it's a big upgrade from uh, getting Clone Wars Chewie as your first character. It's going to be a lot of fun today, I think. But as we talked about, one of the biggest problems with going on the light speed bundles, you're going to be lacking Omicrons, Zetas, and especially mods. I've been getting a lot of questions where can i get mod help i'll leave a link down below as you guys know pimpo is a fantastic resource he'll help you give you mod advice read your mod your roster from top to bottom for you one of the best players in the game so if you're struggling with mods it's gonna be the biggest problem i think we're gonna experience doing these light speed bundles reach out to pimpo on discord or his website i get two characters oh my they're spoiling me today and ahsoka now unfortunately uh... As a massive soon to be spender, they're making me do all this content at the beginning. Oh, I just want to spend the money. Oh man, the polygons. It's actually cool they brought this background in. This is like from the later waves of Geonosis. So it's cool. I, I like that they revamped the beginning part of the game. I actually, truthfully, I haven't played the, the, the early game since they revamped it with all these new characters and a new tutorial. It's, it's a nice change of pace. I was born in a pretty good year. <laughs> 
All right, I think I'm done with the, the base level tutorial. Got a couple of free characters, all that fun jazz. But I gotta say, oh, this roster is way too small for my liking. I feel like uh, I was so impressed by that tutorial. I gotta spend some money. But the first thing we gotta do, we have to buy the, the, the hyperdrive bundle. $49, it's a great offer. Not as good as the lightspeed bundle, but the most important thing is getting us to level 85, getting us a variety of resource and getting us to the Zeta challenge as fast as possible. And in three two one let's begin our whaling journey shall we oh let's just sit back oh sip on some java juice and off to the race as we go everybody ah level 85 it's that easy why do people complain about grinding the level 85 oh let's accept it uh, we've opened up the hyper drive bundle and done a review on it when it first came out many years ago but hey we'll show it again in case you've missed it going straight to level 85 hyper drive bundle unlocked and there we go we get two 2,000 crystals, 20 million credits, 500 energy for all the variety of stuff there. Straight to level 85. I gotta say, I feel like they put more effort into this animation than <laughs> some other stuff in the game. 65 characters, I'll be honest, it doesn't mean a lot nowadays. 13 ships doesn't mean a lot. This is great. I mean, this right here alone, if you ever wondered, should I buy the hype drive on a more or the level 85? The materials alone are, you know, they have a value in the in-game economy. Not as much with the, the new change with the gear economy, but there we go. Look at that. All these challenges being knocked out. Look at that. Look at that. Leveling up old Ben, unlocking all the content. It's basically paying money to just skip the garbage tutorial that takes several months to get to level 85. <laughs> There's a squad arena, which no one really cares about anymore. Events, there we go. Con we all want to play Conquest, right? And there we go. Wow, I seemed you achieved something quite spectacular, I know. <sighs> That's the power of a credit card, everybody. Before we start actually doing the full blown wheeling that we're here for, the, the nice thing about this is you're gonna have a variety of legendaries that you can already unlock. But we'll be real, you know, it's not quite enough nowadays. We have what we came for today. This is what I wanna see. And specifically, the reason why I wanna see this is because today the moon lines up because the Holdo event is here today. And this leads up to a perfect, possibly close to day one unlock, but we got Got some wheeling that we got to do here's the game plan if you watched my light speed bundle review i broke down pretty much pretty much everything you need to know what you're missing out on if you want to go after a galactic legend realistically they set you up very well to get galactic legend ray of course there's other things that you can get some good progress towards supreme leader kylo ren so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go pick up the resistance light speed bundle it just blows my mind 10 freaking dollars wow it's it's crazy how much value there is there and as we said even if you're not going for rate like just getting all these characters for ten dollars kind of a big deal you're getting the relic five i mean just the, the chiro tech and the sheer amount of gear alone it's not even including the shard is way more than ten dollars oh and there we go uh all right you successfully purchased the lightsaber on the following units have been added to your inventory let's go check it out all right look at that unlocks the shard store for you right away which is important for a lot of supplemental gear you're gonna need in your roster man that is wild just with the click of a button ten dollars which again if you get a cup of coffee for you your girlfriend your boyfriend your dog you're probably spending close to ten dollars there this is months of progress right there knocked out <sighs> oh no 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 not this guy no 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 you're gonna hate this guy no yeah this is this definitely is a little scamp offering services for scavenging no he's gonna rob you listen if there's one person you're gonna hate it's gotta be this guy all right yeah 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 god freaking jawas uh, it's pretty wild to see though as i was trying to say okay god dang wow okay so not even the oh. Not even the Omegas. Okay, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Not even Omegas uh, on these guys. And uh, whew. yeah, you're gonna face some heavy grinds, y'all. If you need help, again, as I said, if you need help with Zeta priority, the, the max on your team, I literally have a, gr a guide I point out. I'll leave a link down below. Zeta's ranked for all the characters. Zeta order for every single faction basically out there that you're gonna play. You got a lot of catch up to. And of course, I don't have a single mod. Ooh. We're not quite done yet. Um, we still have some work to do. <laughs> work. <laughs> Let's go buy the Jedi Training Ray bundle because we need to be able to unlock Jedi Training Ray and also BB-8. So let's do it. Another ten dollars. Here we go. So right now we're what seventy dollars into this fifty dollars for hyperdrive, ten dollars for the the Ray bundle, ten dollars for the Jedi Training Ray bundle. We're uh, you know we still got some more stuff we got to do. And there we go. Almost to one million GP already. It's actually 
ask you, it's actually kind of cool seeing how much GP you get from all this. So right now we're in the running of getting, you know, Jedi training ring and whatnot, but we're not quite done yet. Let's do it, baby. First order battle. So this is secretly the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren boosters we talked about. This is just, uh, this is crazy. This alone on my free to play account that we've been running for the past, you know, two years or whatever it's been, took several months to build from scratch. Boom, $10. Oh, well, that was easy. It just, I'll admit being on the other side of farming this, you know, I farmed it pay to play. I farmed it free to play. And now I'm doing dolphin to play. It's just it's crazy to just see doing this for just $10 versus, you know, however much I spent to get this up and running in my main account in the months of my free to play account. It, it's a little wild. I, and I, that's why I understand those that are upset about this pack who already grinded for a Ray or Superior Kylo. $80 so far in total. And this is going to put us at $100, which you know what? We might as well do it right now. Let's just rip off the bandaid. Buy this baby. It's got all the ships that we need. And we've talked about in my review that this also helps make some progress towards other things. Bosk and Houndstooth is amazing. Karth, you can make, you know, and Teether 4 help towards, you know, the, the Revan stuff out there and the Malak of stuff, of course. But it's really the ships. Just, you know, if they would have just sold this pack with a Relic 5 Bosk and a Houndstooth and even Karth, that's an annoying ship to farm, people would be all over this. But the fact they have all this, the relics and whatnot, it's pretty crazy. So we basically have all the tools we need to start working towards the Galactic Legend Ray herself. Let's take a look at our roster we got going on here. So that that was about 1.5 million GP before we start unlocking any of the, the legendary stuff. But speaking of legendaries, let's get down to work. The first one I want to unlock is I want to go ahead and unlock. Eh, you know, we'll just go in order. Let's go unlock BB-8 first. Now, this is overkill. You don't need high relics to unlock BB-8. <laughs> this is why it's secretly a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren booster farm. All right, I'm going to go fast forward through all this. I'll meet you at the finish line, all right? That was easy. All right, so we got the last batch of BB-8 shards that we need, but of course let's go activate and unlock bb it's just it's kind of crazy that's all just uh spending you know i mean ignoring the hyperdrive bundle part of it all i mean a lot of people buying the lights bundles probably didn't need the hyperdrive bundle but it's just it's pretty crazy to see you know for a game like this you know it's not a lot of money to spend just to get all these characters at the relics that they're needed and it's it just it's just weird to finally experience it on my own is all so we got to get jedi training ray but we got to upgrade bb anyways and we're gonna need to have bb8 as well as you know jedi training ray at some you know higher relic levels we're gonna need to upgrade bb8 to relic 7 we're gonna need to get jedi training ray to relic 7 scavenger ray to relic 7 so we have a couple of things we got to do so let's go ahead and upgrade bb8 and see if we can get him to relic 7 and this is probably gonna require some extra money to be spent all right so let's go we got him to level 85 right there very nice let's go ahead upgrade it and you can already see we're already kind of running some uh, light resistance here uh with some lower gear but that's fine we're gonna roll with it for right now look at that. i don't have to do the battles like it's already ready to be simmed for me nicely done okay let's go back all right let's keep going keep going yeah baby oh uh, yeah the nice thing about i guess buying the hyperdrive bundles that you get a lot of this gear ready to go to bump you up can we get the gear 12 mm, not quite already a bit short on carbantes i see we can't you really use the guild store right now so unfortunately we're gonna run into a little bit of a problem here uh, i can't really get carbantes just hopping into the game yeah as you can see i can't even get carbantes in here since it, it's, it's it's my first weekly shipment the next refresh we'll have all the good stuff but i can't do anything right now i got like no guild currency so that means i basically have to spend energy which is what i was hoping not to do because i wanted to save the energy for when i need the farm tickets but i have no other option right now so let's get down to it all right we got 12 8 10 i think jedi training ray's got a lot of carbantes if i recall correctly okay all right we got some of that we got some of that and we're probably gonna need more so there we go exactly on the money 50. all right so we're gonna gonna get 12 but uh-oh we're missing out on other stuff oh god this is gonna get really expensive man oh <sighs> all right well made it this far <laughs> I'm never going to financially recover from this one, boys. Oh, God. All right, let's just get it over with. Ah, oh, what's the fight again? Guys, I think Google shut me down from spending money. They're like, what the hell is this guy doing spending all this money? Yeah, so no matter what payment method I'm putting in, it's not going through. I'm going to try to get some Google Play cards, and if that doesn't work well, that's going to suck. Let's go for a little ride, shall we? All right, let's light some Beskar Crocs on. Ah, oh. yo, baby. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the store. Uh, let's just say I made a big mistake with my life.
they got some stuff here. Beware of scams, huh? Must be talking mobile games. We need some big cash, don't we? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with something small, just in case this still doesn't work. I don't wanna put all this money on a burner account. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and plus you like it takes 750 days. I'll be honest, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Hi, how are we doing? I'm doing fine. I just feel a little crazy. I'm gonna need a couple of gift cards here. Okay. Awesome. You guys have 200 on these three, and then we got the 25. We're doing three, 200, three, and then two, yeah, the 125, yeah. And would you like a bag for these? Oh, no, I'm good, thank you. Someone's birthday? Oh, gosh. No, we're just uh, trying to show the dangers of mobile gaming spending. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, Take care. Yeah, you, have a good one. you too. All right. Uh, let's get some sit rep going here. Uh, all right. <laughs> so here's the game plan, y'all. Oh, God, what am I doing with my life? This is the cringiest thing ever. I'm turning into like a cringe tuber here. I'm sorry, guys. So as I said in the store, we're going to probably... We're going to start off on this low end. Just in case, for some reason, the account got like red flagged. I don't want to dump the rest of the money here. So we're going to do this by something on the quote-unquote smaller end of things. And if they take the Google Play cards, I'll proceed at the other ones. Each of these has two hundred dollars on them. Oh, let's roll. Let me tell you, that never gets old. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> Do you really want to know? $625 in my hand. <laughs> so we have returned. I just want to say, in case this doesn't work, the upside is I can always use these other guys for my main account. So it's not like it's all lost, but we're going to do a, a mini sample test to make sure I can even buy something in the first place. All right, so it took the $25, but can I actually spend it? Or is it like red flag me forever? Ooh, send us details. Wow. Yeah, I think the account got red flagged, guys. Um, you know, I, I, I'm gonna take this as a sign. There's probably some RNGesus out there, the patron saint of mobile gaming. That's like, brother, I am giving you a sign to stop while you're ahead. Uh, this is just too much hassle for a video that's gonna be basically obsolete because let's be real for a second. Yeah, these are only around for one more day. So by the time this even gets approved, the whole theory of getting a Galactic Legend day one, it just, would, we, we're gonna miss the window because what I was trying to do, I was trying to line this up with the, the Radis being available today to get. This pack is only around for 12 more hours. The Radis event that's here today, it's only here for another 12 hours or so. So this is how I would have been able to get this day one. The problem is also, the reason why we had the whale on the packs too, you're gonna need a capital ship at seven stars and that's gonna take a little bit of time to get. Hence why if you were gonna rush for a day one galactic legend, I would have need to also purchase this right here. So we would have to buy this pack, what is it? Like 15 times, let's say. If we do 15 times, 1250, that would have been at least a hundred dollars right there about. We were short gear 12 stuff. So I would have basically had to clean out these packs here. You know, so a hundred dollars there. I'm not, I can't remember what part uh, Jedi training Ray needs. And then the, I would have to probably buy all these because I also need scrapping material to get BB-8, Jedi training Ray, as well as scavenger Ray up to Relic 7. And as you can see, I don't have any electroconductors. I don't have anything to scrap visibility cards. I would have had to buy all those packs. And then on top of that, I would have had to buy the energy packs. I would have needed to whale out on energy. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys here. I'm not even sure if the $625 that we went out and got for apparently no reason would have been enough. You probably would need to go for another round. I don't want you guys feeling bad that we went out and got this. I'm going to wail on whatever the next character might be for you guys to see. So we're going to still be able to use these gift cards. However, I don't know if I'll be able to get the $25 one because I, I think this got flagged. <laughs> Good thing we started off with the little guy, huh? Um, You know, I'm going to make this the moral of today's story. I'm actually kind of happy maybe we didn't go all the way through and we had these... Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> these situations kind of stop us. The way if you're going to go about these light seed bundles, it's a fantastic addition for those that already have Zetas. You already have mods uh, to some degree. You already have some mild degree of progress. It makes sense to buy these. Or if you are going to buy these and you don't really have that much progress, it's going to take you a bit of time to build up that Zeta stash, the mod stash. And then you're going to need the, the capital ship itself, which it takes several months for the Radis event to come. You have to have a seven star capital ship. Enjoy the light seed bundles. I think they're great for what they are. But as you can see from today's video, getting a day one galactic legend, it's got a hidden cost you're not explicitly seeing and you got to explicitly see today. This would have been one of the most expensive endeavors I've ever done. And to be honest, this was going to be just a burner account that I maybe would have given to my brother to play with. I mean, I'm sorry, we don't do account sharing over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're going to take it as a sign from R and Jesus. Everyone, uh, I hope you had a great day with hanging out with me. But at the end of the day, hopefully there's a message to be found. We had a good time which is all that matters and more importantly i'm hoping at the end of the video you're always saying oh it's great to be in the empire today well responsibly the sun never sets we dominate we're stronger together